Welcome to this session on AWS IoT events. To understand AWS IoT events better, let's look at a scenario. And this scenario involves a heating, ventilation and air conditioning equipment. This is normally installed on the roof of a building or sometimes on a particular floor and it provides air conditioning that is cooling or sometimes heat into a specific building. And what we want to do is that we not only want to make sure that this equipment keeps running for a longer period of time but we also want to make sure that it is being utilized properly for example we want the cooling to be available only in a room where there are actually people in there or if the number of people in a specific room increases we want to make sure that the cooling is maintained at a specific temperature all of these are basically events so we want to be able to switch on the cooling for example in a room when someone enters the room another scenario is that we want to make sure that the temperature of a specific area for example a large hall or the entrance of the office is at a specific level and for that we want to make sure that the temperature is getting detected and stored another feature that we want to look at is auto adjustment of the cooling we definitely don't want the equipment to be switched on and off manually specifically in larger areas or in places like a mall but we want to make sure that based on the number of people who are coming in or the occupancy of the area the cooling is auto adjusted and we want to be able to report or get all of these sensor readings in one place for processing so what exactly is aws iot events aws iot events enables you to monitor your equipment or your device fleets and this monitoring is so that you are able to detect failures or changes in operations and when such conditional based event happens to be able to trigger actions so aws iot event continuously monitors all the data which is coming in from your sensors which are installed but not just from there but it's also coming in let's say for example from different applications or different aws services or processes and it's able to identify significant events and based on these events you can define and take action so you can use aws iot events to build complex event monitoring applications in the aws cloud and you can access these aws iot events either through the console or through the api what are some of the benefits and features that it offers so you have one single place where you can have data coming in from multiple sources for example on aws iot core the data is mostly coming in from sensors but you might have some data which is coming in from an ml engine or you might have data which is coming in from a different application all of those data can be ingested from multiple sources and they can be used together to detect the state of your processes or devices based on that you can proactively manage your maintenance schedules for example you might have sensors which are reading the temperature but you might have sensors which are reading let vibration of the devices that you are monitoring so these become different kinds of sensors and you should be able to segregate this data and take action based on the different sensors or different events that happen it's very very simple to build these custom rules and events so you can use simple if then else statements and accordingly build those rules and event logic and you can combine the sensor data you can combine the application data you can get all of that on the console so that you are able to visualize the performance and quality of your operations you can even detect complex patterns for example if the vibration sensor is increasing but you can see that the temperature is not increasing i mean what's happening here why did this happen so you are able to recognize these complex patterns and accordingly you can define let's say that the vibration sensor goes above let's say x value but the temperature is consistent what should be the action that should be taken should it be that we ask the hvac equipment to run at a lower efficiency or do we want it to keep on pumping at the same level so these kind of complex patterns and complex actions can be triggered 
you can meet your fleet demands by defining detectors for specific device types and these can automatically scale and manage all instances of the device a typical example here could be that uh, you have those containers huge containers which are used to ship your equipment from one location to another by sea you can write the rules for specific devices you can install those devices on the containers as and when a new container is added to your fleet all you need to do is just put up those devices over there the logic gets copied over and accordingly you can scale to thousands and then millions of containers out there how does it all work you have these inputs and all of these inputs as we mentioned can be coming in from sensors they can even be coming in from other aws services or they can be coming in from applications all of these are inputs are coming in and then they are defined and processed upon and acted upon in aws iot events the logic you define the state you define and based on that what is the kind of action that needs to be taken you define and as and when those conditions are met an action is initiated and this action can be as simple as sending an email sending an sns message or it can be to another application that hey when this happens you got to take some action these are the different kinds of actions that you can define so this is very simply as you said if then else conditional statements for you to take action this is a detector model example you can see that a very simple logic is applied over here if the room is unoccupied we want the hvac to be turned off for that specific room but as and when someone enters the room the detection is done that okay this room is no longer empty but there is one person or number of people coming into the room we want the hvac to be turned on and as and when the room is empty again we want the hvac to be turned off a very simple detector model but now you can see that you can write it for one hvac and then you can copy and paste this to all the other hvacs that you install in different buildings in different locations around the world and they will all work perfectly fine what are the action permissions that are allowed so these are the actions that let you use a timer or to set a variable so you can even have events which are based on time for example there is an electric scooter and for that use define that okay if it is in a same location let's say for x minutes of time we assume that nobody is using that electric scooter but if it is in motion and if it is going forward then okay someone has rented it and it is going forward so these are the kind of actions that you can define which lets you use a timer so the variables that you can use for this can be predefined and accordingly you can set up your events set timer action allows you to create a timer the reset timer action allows you to reset the timer clear timer delete the timer and then set variables can be used to create a specific variable there are other action permissions also which are available and these let you work with other aws services you can use iot topic publish to publish a message on an mqtt topic you can use the iot events to send data to aws iot events as an input value iot site wise can be used to send data to an asset property dynamo db can be used to store data in a dynamo db table dynamo db version 2 also performs the same functionality you can use firehose to send data to an amazon kinesis data firehose stream and this one is the most beautiful one where you can have lambda function invoked and this lambda function can actually talk to something outside of aws to trigger an action and then of course you can have sns as well as sqs so sns can be used to send data as a notification and sqs can be used to send data to a sqs queue what are the different use cases of course you can aggregate telemetry data across systems as we mentioned earlier it's not just sensor data but it can be application data it can be analytics data all of these can be aggregated in one place when you get all of that data in one place you are able to analyze and build your alert notification systems you can monitor and maintain remote devices as i give you the example of a container so you the container can be in any part of the world but as long as it's got connectivity you are able to monitor and maintain them 
you are also able to prioritize your maintenance workloads for critical issues for example your hvac may be having too many vibrations which indicates that there might be a part failure and that part needs to be replaced before the hvac goes into a bad state you can prioritize accordingly from an exam perspective what you need to understand is that aws iot events allows you to take all of the data coming in from different locations define the events based on if then else kind of statements and roll it out across to all the devices and the actions that are allowed are on a timer basis as well as actions for other aws services for more details check the link in the description learn with wits labs success certified